Hi and welcome back. I've got the air conditioning running, so forgive me for hollering. It's not so hot, it's just muggy out here. It rained yesterday and it's got the humidity up, so I'm trying to wring it out. Now, today uh, I'm working on my survival knives, survival series. Uh, so they got walnut handles on them that I've got to get down and clean up and everything and then this I just put them on there finished putting the handles on last night so they're they're ready to go today and so I have to go slow and try not to burn the epoxy when I do these big pins but I've done these big pins for this but there's my bearing okay and it'll be right-handed so you can put it down here like that and push down on your spindle and the inside the inside will turn hopefully when I get it freed up or a little bit a little super glue and other glue in there sticking it just a tad okay same way with this one this is the little bit bigger one this is uh, this is the series 2 uh, this is a series 3 it's smaller and the series 1 is this one it don't have a spear point on it and I'm not going to put one really I mean it's kind of cleft it just a little bit but I'm not going to put the spear point on this one it has no juking on the back of it and it's got the half inch holes in here and back here at the back so that it can be lashed to a spear uh, stick and you can make it into a spear and this one's got the cleft this is the three small one and this one actually is probably the one that I prefer the smaller one over it it has some uh, juking on the back of it and it's still got a little bit of a spot here up front here where you can use it as a flint to turn it over and do it this way and everything that way you keep the keep the edge out of it plus it's on the it's on the rake so if you don't go around like this and you should be able to get a spark out of this with this hot 1095 high carbon steel. Same way with the Series 2. There's no juking on it. And it's got the half inch holes here. But it's only got a 3.8 back here. I ran out of room to put a half inch on this one. And same way with this. This one's a 3.8. Oops. This one's a 3.8 holes in the blade and back here. So now I'm going to put them on, grind them up, or I may do a little bit of a palm swell on it. And then I'm going to build a Kydex cases for them. And while I've been in between knives and first one thing and another around here, I did manage to take my arbor press and put the dies that I got for the, uh, for the Kydex rivets. Got them put in there. so. That should be good. I tested it on one um, on a ribbit and it rolled it just fine. A whole lot better than I can do with this little heat or this little beat handset I got. It's the reason I got it. My hands is no good. I'm having surgery on this one and uh, next month and they're going to go in here and do whatever it is they do so I can start feeling a little bit more in here and uh, hold on, actually hold on to stuff. I tend to drop a lot of stuff with it so but anyway that's what's on the schedule for today and if I get a little time I'm gonna put a piece of uh, it's a piece of a cutting board I'm gonna put it on my oh, on my knife jig I glue it up put it in here the knives just bury up too much in this soft pine so I want to put that on there so so it won't so the tips can poke into it but not bury up in it because there's a lot more resistance on this than they are the wood so that, that way I could get them a little bit tighter I mean they're plenty tight now I just I want them a little tighter if I can get it I plan to do it all along it's just I got in a hurry and just didn't do it and then I didn't have the cutting board and I found one and so now I'm gonna do it but anyway I'll, uh, I'll bring you back, uh, there's no use watching uh, a dust fly, everybody, 
I hope knows how to use a belt grinder on, on doing the handles. I'll show you the handles after I get done with the belt grinder on them and then we'll start the uh, the filing and the uh, sanding and then the finishing and get on that. I mean it gets monotonous standing here doing three or four knives at a time just standing here doing that and I can't you know if I'm going to show something I try to show it all but there's if if you're interested in it you know leave me a comment and everything and I'll do a video on start to finish on on handles uh, whether it be the be of wood like this one this is this American walnut or uh, or antler like this one if you can see that or not come out or not but anyway I've done it I don't know anyway it's a there we go it's a elk antler made out of Damascus that with the Damascus guard and me leaving the blade I draw filed it and then wire brushed it after a while, uh, while it was hot too. after that I heated it back up but not not red or anything and brushed it and then done my a heat tree on it so anyway i done that because it didn't have any damascus big enough to make a blade and i knew i wanted the damascus guard and i had that so i decided i'd do that and leave it so it would at least match the guard some it's not a damascus pattern but with the the, the hamon on it it don't look too awful bad i got it coated in boiled linseed oil right now up keeping it from rusting or anything out here. Like I said, it's rained. It rained the last couple of days. So, and the humidity's up a lot. That's the reason I got the air conditioning going. Anyway, enough rambling. It's time to get to, get to working on uh, on handles. Okay, I'm back. I got them to got them roughed down to uh, to kind of smooth there. I got most of the flash. Uh, epoxy and stuff off of it. I'll start hand sanding here in a few minutes. Here's uh, the big one, the S S71. And uh, it's got a big handle on it. It's all walnut handle. I'm going to try to make it into a uh, to one with a palm swell on it. These two, this one's got Coco Bolo handle on it. It's getting oily and everything. So I'm just going to sand it down smooth. And I've done it rough that released all the edges I re relieved them and got all that then I'll clean all, everything up get it all sanded and put it in the mineral uh, in the uh, linseed oil for a little bit rub some on it and then the little one this one's the it's got uh, the walnut on it too so and it's got the same little burn in there had a little mist lick around through here right here Everything. I'll probably keep this one and uh, give it to one of my nieces or nephews for Christmas or the birthday or something. Anyway, I don't like letting them go out to customers with any kind of flaws on them, but I was, I had epoxy and everything else going, so I decided I'd just go ahead and do it. Now, the reason I got this dust mask off, I got this now, I got this from uh, RZ Mask. And, uh, this right here and this has got carbon fi uh, filters in there so yeah this is the mesh when I got another one for when I go hunting it's uh, neoprene but anyway you buy all this stuff separately the uh, the filters the, the filters and then the uh, these uh, little uh, flapper valves that go in there and they do good. I'm, I'm trying it out. I just, I've had it a, a few days, but I, anyway, I just tried it out. Now, reason I, now, with this, the reason I cut this, oh, it's Velcro too. Ugh, oh, yeah. You don't fog your glasses. And there it is, there's the carbon filter mask in there. This is for RZ mask. Uh, I believe it's the, it tell me on here, uh, somewhere I forget what the, the name of the dog gone it's 
far as even mask. Anyway, just plug it into the to your uh, search engine there, and uh, and get yourself one of these. I don't no fish, don't have any links. I don't make anything off of this. I just I'm not going to uh, promote items that I won't use. I use this. I tried it the other day and it worked real great. Everything I, I wasn't out here doing because I was doing with wood and antler and I had dust. I got dust everywhere. Got me a vacuum cleaner hooked up. That's the reason I, I shut it down before I started doing the wood. The dust is awful in here with wood and uh, even up with the side and the vacuum hose on it. My vacuum's not a million horsepower. Wish it was. It'd suck it out here then. But anyway, with that, and plus when I go to sanding and like that with a belt and wood and whatever, if I'm not just filming it right there, then I close everything down and put a garbage bag over the camera to keep the dust out of it. Because it's not a dust free camera or whatever. It's a Sony uh, handy cam or something like that. Uh, it's probably 1812 model, you know, here. Probably third load over on the arc. But anyway, it's an old one, but it works. It's what I got. So anyway, I'm going to sit down here and start filing. Uh, filing and do it on this and I'll bring you back when I get them down pretty close. Alright.